What's up everybody, my name is Coalfire and welcome to Chaos Theory Entropy. Now that uh, title kind of seems like one of those situations where a bunch of cool words got thrown together, but uh, this is for, or this is an alpha demo for an ongoing Kickstarter that looks to be a low poly first person puzzle game, I think. And uh, I wanted to check it out, see what's going on. So let's go. Greetings test subjects. Those who have recently awoken from cryogenic slumber may find themselves having difficulty moving. As a reminder, uh, WASD to walk around, mouse to look, and several other people have found that holding shift helps them move oh, faster. Oh. The new science conglomerate. We the staff thank you for volunteering for these tests. If you do not volunteer, we thank you nonetheless and are confident that you will perform adequately as we continue to strive for a better tomorrow. Can I ask you to utilize the laboratory before beginning, as other test subjects have been known to experience third degree burns while testing with the full bladder? Also, please make sure to wash your hands as test subjects have also been known to experience the rapid onset of Alzheimer's when testing with dirty hands. <laughs> okay. So, oh, whoa. What the? Our records now show that you have disposed of your waste. Keep in mind that said records will be kept in review. Oh, we went to the bathroom. During the volunteer process. First science. Now, if you would please proceed to the next room, we can begin your aptitude test. Uh, so it seems like the game has some optimization issues because it's running at like 20 something frames a second. <gasps> Whoa! Holy shit! There's working mirrors! That's cool. That's really cool. All right. Please continue through the door. All right. What's what's this say? Eh. Welcome, valued test subject. We here at the New Science Conglomerate appreciate your time and efforts in testing all our products, from household supplies to, te to technology for everyday use and beyond. Uh, please enjoy the provided living space for the rest and relaxation while on break from testing. New Science faculty. To, expre uh, to express and questions, comments, uh, or concerns about the testing, please fill out your tester you survey. To to okay. Babe? Excellent. You have shown the ability to open and close doors, one which is requisite for a future test. This room is the first of a number of preliminary trial courses to determine if you indeed have the skills necessary to continue forward in future testing. Such skills include pressing a button and or the utilization of a ladder. Ah. Ah. We have recorded that you understand the concept of pressing buttons. This is good. <laughs> Research and study on the mechanisms of a button upon the human psyche finds that pressing buttons hold a cathartic effect and is it. This test not only has a button in it, but a box and rope as well. It will now be time to see how well you fare as this is a rope. It has many uses, such as swinging from a tire. There are no tires. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, are we are we on this? Do. do? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Making progress. So this kind of feels like a uh, Cave Johnson of Portal 2 situation. Box. Unlike Rowan, boxes hold no purpose. Please ignore the box. It will most likely infect you. Infect me? With what? Yeah, or like a GLaDOS from Portal kind of situation. You've done well so far, and we award you one compliment to your success, despite your use of a box, which was disturbing. <laughs> As for your time, you'll be pleased to know that you have placed second in our rankings, just below Coco. Do not be envious of Coco. She is an excellent test monkey and a true part of you. You have been doing well progressing forward. You will now be tested on your knowledge of electrical engineering as detailed quite explicitly in the wafer that you signed. You cannot recall having signed a wafer. This is due to you signing another wafer that allowed for the deletion of wafer-centric memories from your head campus, as knowledge of wafers could contaminate these tests. If you find that you are apprehensive about uh, progressing due to irrational fear of execution, we're happy to inform you that this is part of the test and that you are currently providing excellent feedback with your irrational fear of electrocution. We implore you to keep up the good work. <laughs> uh, the the writing's actually pretty funny. I don't think the, the delivery is fantastic, but like <laughs> do not be envious of Coco. Coco is a is a uh, fantastic test monkey and a true prodigy. <laughs> Like, that's, that's just funny shit. Uh, electrical engineering for dummies. In the event that a button and doors are not functioning correctly, users may create an analog connection between the faulty button and the door using wires. Okay. The, uh, 
the frame rate really is uh, not great. So uh, maybe what? How do we how do we connect to the door? Is there is there some other some other thingy that we can? Hmm. What do? <laughs> oh crap. Uh, there we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, so, um... I can't push the button. Also can't push the button. Why do I have that little, like, Umbrella Corp thing on me right now? Um... Yeah, so where do I... where do I use the wire? Do I have, like, an inventory system that I can use? What does escape do? Restart level load... Okay, so there's no... There's no control options in there. Um... It made me think that, like, these things down here would be... What do? No. Uh, Connect it to the wire, then connect it to the target door, vice versa. These components should work as intended. Okay, so... Since... Hmm... Okay, so that light's on now. Come on. Come on. I believe in you, player character. Alright. I would really prefer more instances of stairs. <laughs> Button. Have all our subjects to the most adept at pressing buttons. Even Coco will be amazed with your technique. This is a true milestone as worthy of you being awarded with an irrational fear of electrocution. Awarded with an irrational the fear of electrocution? Level of the oh. test. Before we begin testing the device itself, there will be one more trial test in order to determine whether or not your physical abilities, reaction time, and spatial awareness help depart. Let us begin. Are you aware of space? <laughs> so I wonder if the uh, the mirrors were the cause of the frame drop, because this is running at a buttery smooth 60 frames a second now, and uh, it makes me it makes me wonder if that's that's what the case was there. All right, button. So are we just jumping between all of these? Button. Oh no! Cool. I died. I've been programmed to support the subject when the meter rises. But first, I must clarify whether this is the meter one. Once will not be applied by and must be purged. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do really like the writing in this so far. It's a, it's pretty funny. Ah shit! All right. I need. I need to slow down. Take my time. Be. Be calm and oh, measured in my jumps. I must, I must be calm like Coco, the greatest test monkey that ever was. All right, so when you come over here, push this button, a uh, whoosh, and a douche, and a kaploosh, and good button. Well, fuck you. I made it to the button! Just because... Uh, I'm gonna have to kill myself, aren't I? Yep. Well. At least this test subject has multiple lives, unlike Coco. Coco might be a good monkey, but... You know, I'm... I'm immortal. <laughs> wow, this... this rivalry thing... Getting to me more than it should. Alright. Button. Jumpity... Jumpity... Uh, button, 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 but Okay, why, why can I know? You find that you want to finish this test. If you do, then please sit in place and contemplate how much you really wish to help repel humanity into tomorrow. If by the end of a 48 power you still have not finished the test, motivation will be provided. 48 hours? Alright, I can do that. Just hang out here for a little bit. So, uh, do I need to, like, Provide a. Oh. 
but I can't go through there. So that one, I'm assuming, needs a wire. Yeah, what am I missing here? What's going on? Because the rest of this shit's timed. Oh, Lord. You don't have a lot of air control. So this one... doesn't have a timer on it. That one does, though. And that opens this door. Okay, so now we can get our... Gotcha. It takes years of education to know how to save the wire machinery. So then I can come over here, push this button, do a jumpy jump and a jumpy jump, and do this here to here. Oh, there's a ladder here. Okay. Ah, okay. Which is needed to continue testing. Place it upon your wrist and wait for integration. Toast tech total toaster. Will it toast? Will it? What am I what am I grabbing here? This? In order to facilitate a healthier environment for testing and to ensure a lack of Okay. Integration beginning. Oh god, it's gonna screw in, isn't it? Processing. Hello, world. Oh, oh my. Oh me. Oh, oh. me. Oh my. <laughs> this is all just so. And you and me. Oh, yes. We're going to do some beautiful things, you and I. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord. Okay. Whoa. Time manipulation and distortion device? Oh, Lord. This is... Oh, this is like Titanfall, the like the time manipulation section. Okay, so what do I do with uh, El Toasty Toaster? Shroud? Stealth? Okay, so are we just moving on from here? Is this just like a kind of jokey room. TMDD is a powerful tool that all that allows the user to jump between select points in time. So travel forward, use uh, left mouse click to travel back plus right. Jumping forward again loops back and vice versa. I, time zone 2 goes back to 1. Alright. So we're going to start dealing with some time manipulation puzzles. Whoa. Oh, but I can't go forward if I'm in something that, uh... Yeah, I would really like some more staircases or some, uh... Some ladders that don't require, like, a, a press of an interaction to use. Okay. Huh. Alright, we can't make that jump. And I can't... Okay. Oh. Okay, so we're we're kind of just like cheating our way around all of this. Doesn't really feel like that was what I was supposed to do, but I did it anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. I was Oh, I was just wondering if that was going to fall out from under me and it sure did. Okay. So we use Let's, let's get a look at this area first. Can I jump up onto this? No. So I need to walk over here. Jump backward, or forwards, I guess. And then we're good here. Let me keep going across real quick and jump. Nice. And then we can swap again. And not swap again. Okay. So the clutter seems a little interesting to me because it can really interfere with what you think you need to do. 
Early testing secondary tether device suggests that we can essentially produce a field around the jumper object that uh, so that no matter is lost in the transition between timelines. Theoretically, this means we could transport a human and their clothes perfectly intact without needing to create a full bodysuit to contain them. Unfortunately, this method still requires the secondary tether to be fully attached to the jumper object. In this uh, case with stabilizing pylons evenly spaced around the object, burrowing about 15% of the way into the subject. This should be the prefer... Uh, this should be perfected before human use. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the clutter in the second timeline makes it a little difficult to determine where it is you need to jump to and from. Oh, this test is quite an interesting one. Feel free to rest your legs a bit. We'll see how well you can make use of the TMDD here. Oh, All right. I do wonder as to what happened here. You have let the facility fall into such disrepair. Well, I'll have to have a stern talking to with the janitorial staff. You must have the very best in testing standards, otherwise results may be skewed. All right. So it looks like we're just going to be getting on a platform and then jumping back and forth between... Ah, oh, shit between times to uh, progress. I think that's doable. A little more air control would be nice though. <laughs> huh? Good lord! The, the sprint is too far and the not sprint is not far enough. <sighs> Alright, maybe we, we take an angle at it. Yes, we got it. Alright, so these first two we need nothing are in here. And then go back. Oh God, I feel like uh, this is this this is gonna be a little weird for me. All right? Can we jump? Yes, we can jump. All right. What what do we have going on here? Got some rocks here. Can we do that here? And as soon as we can, yes, we jump backwards. And then we jump uh, backwards again. I'm assuming the, the destroyed one is forwards. Oh, Lord. It would be kind of nice if it was just like a single toggle in between the two. Oh, the recording's not running very well. That sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, what? What hit me? Why did I fall? How do I get back up? What the hell? Where do I go? What do I do? So there's a broken ladder here. Um. Ah, here we go. What the fuck? Can I just, like, move on forward through this? Please? No. Okay. Good lord, man. Oh, boo! Hey, we made it through that time! Uh, oh, god, that's what it is! Okay. Man. Alright. Whatever. All right, I'm coming over here next. Yeah, I feel like I just really need to be focused on exactly what's in front of me to determine what I need to do and where I'm gonna go. Because it, it doesn't really seem to be a big help to try and look forward to see what it is. Right. Come here. And then I think we're okay. This whole process, but allow me to reassure you that my processes are constantly backed up every 3.4 microseconds, so there's little to fear. Jump away. Okay. Why? Why does it matter that his processes are backed up like that? 
Oh, boo. Oh, no. Do these respawn back in eventually? Or have I just, like, royally fucked myself? Alright, so I think I need to jump out and then switch. Okay. God damn it. Okay, so they do... They do respawn in. Alright. And then jump here. Good time, though not the best. I suppose the lack of a posable toe on your part is the reason for that. Otherwise, <laughs> small work. Ah, hold on. A patch is coming through. There we go. I am proud to announce that the full basic functionality has been provided to the device. The third further timeline is now accessible to us, and I am more than confident that the conglomerate has repaired what little damage we have seen, or perhaps not. No, oh, this is quite worrisome. The lab notes never specify what to do in this case of the introduction of unknown flora. And the walls are almost covered in it. This control group will have to be thoroughly reviewed. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll go through this room. So what are we looking at here? We have a button that can be pushed in this one, which extends that behind us. Is that timed? That doesn't look timed. So that doesn't give us anything in this one. Oh, and this one fell down. Okay. And then what, we've got a bunch of fucking lasers in this one. Oh, and then here's this. What's this do? Uh, then we walk back across and then move to the point where this one is down. We can... How do we get across here, though? We need to do... Ah, oh, crap. That? I kind of feel like that was cheesing it a little bit. Alright, and then we can jump over Meow. Okay, so how do then? There it is. Okay, so it's a little sensitive with what's in each area. So what did that do? Really, what did... what did this do? I have no idea what that did. Oh, man. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna leave this here. Um, there does seem to be some optimization issues, because there there's not a whole lot going on on screen, but, like, the frame rate is fluctuating, my... Uh, my recordings frame rate is really fluctuating too, so not sure what's going on there. I honestly think the the writing is the strongest part of the game. The visual design is functional. It, it's not fantastic, but it's not terrible. Um, the puzzle mechanics are interesting, but the platform mechanic mechanics are not. Um, they are a little too floaty, they don't have a ton of control, and swapping back and forth with that like crazy visual effect that pops up on screen can be really disorienting to like try and figure out what it is that you're supposed to do. The writing seems really good, but the voice acting's kind of meh, and the effect on the voice can make it a little bit difficult to understand, especially with the sound mixing the way it is. The voice isn't loud enough or the music is too loud, one or the other. Um, the ladders just suck. The ladders just really suck. They're, um, it's a small part of the game, but they're they're definitely the worst part because you have to walk up to it, make sure that you get your reticle on it, 
press E and then hope that you're attached to it so you can climb up it. Stairs, uh, a hitbox on on the um, on the ladders that just dictates when you're holding forward, you move up instead of forward. Um, I think would do a lot to kind of speed up the use of the ladders because right now they're they're tedious and the fact that I feel like I have to mention them in a game like this I think speaks a little bit to to their uh, unintuitiveness and a little bit of the frustration that surrounds them um, just like I don't know a little more a little more detail and a little less pattern I think would go a long way in in these areas, especially if these are all like taking uh, lighting resources, and that might be why the uh, the frame rate is so unstable. But yeah, it's not bad. It just it needs a bunch of polish, which you know, being a part of a Kickstarter campaign is certainly what that kind of stuff is for. So yeah, this has been Chaos Theory Entropy. So, mathematics that are dependent on the, like, the outcome is extremely dependent and highly variable depending on the initial inputs, and entropy is a, uh, trending towards a state of, like, uh, disorganization, I guess? Which, I guess, kind of makes sense with, with this whole thing. Um... Might also be nice if interact was click and then one, two, and three were the uh, the swaps. But maybe maybe just like some gamepad support for this or something. I don't know. I don't know. It's got some interesting things going on. But there's there's a lot of little things that are just kind of meh. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.